hello students so welcome to jc connect so today we'll uh, continue with the numerical song source transformation right so it's a lecture number 22 so 18 ec 32 subject code so let's move on to the problem statement find the current i find the current i by reducing the circuit to the right of of terminals x and y using source transformation this is the question given right so try to analyze first understand the problem statement so circuit which consists of uh, voltage source resistors but they mentioned the terminals x y here right what actually they are asking the current i right by reducing the circuit to the right of of terminals x y means you should not touch this part of the circuit so you should alter the circuit of this part right side of x y terminals by using what source transformation so the i can be calculated in many ways but in the problem statement they have asked to find i by reducing what right part of the circuit of x y using what source transformation right again so we need to redraw the circuit using source transformation we know that uh, this voltage source is in series with 30 ohm right so this can be converted into a current source with a parallel resistance right so i'll redraw the circuit again so this looks like a voltage source 5 ohm then uh, this 5 ohm resistance in this 20 ohm resistance will be as it is this 30 ohm will become what in parallel same 30 ohm but here see the sign here plus and minus the obviously current source will look like in upward direction now need to write what is the i value that is current source value right so this is 5 this is uh, 5 i is here right so this is x uh, this is y this is uh, 20 ohm this is 30 ohm but what is this one i which is equal to what uh, v by r what is v value here 3 what is r value 30 3 by 30 that will be what how much so it's a 0.1 so therefore a current source value is what 0.1 amperes right is this a solution no no see here these two resistors are connected in what hmm? parallel what is the resultant of that and two resistors are connected in parallel what is the result of that product of those register divided by what sum of the register how much will get right this is 600 this is what 50 so this will become what 12 ohm right i'll redraw the circuit again 5 volt source 5 volt source with uh, 5 ohm register here the current flowing through that will be what i equivalent resistance is how much here it is 12 ohm then we have again current source of 0.1 amperes as it is 0.1 amperes this is 5 volts right what next we need to find i this i which is current flowing through 5 ohm right how to find this one again here this can be a uh, simplified why because current source is in parallel with the resistance this can be converted into a, a voltage source with a series resistance of same value right so i'll redraw again so this will be what uh, 5 volts as it is right so this is uh, 5 ohm this is say i so this 12 ohm is in parallel with the current source this will become what in series of 12 volts same but here see the sign here upward direction obviously plus sign will come first next minus now since it is since it is voltage source we know from ohm's law v equal to i into r right what is i value 0 0.1 what is uh, r value 12 so this will be how much it will be 1.2 volts so it is a 1.2 volts but we need to find i now how to find again uh, using KVL, so assume a loop current say here it is current flowing through it is what I if you assume X so X itself is what I 
so you can easily find now apply kvl apply kvl to the circuit so start from this point so minus 5 appears first next so entry sign plus exit sign minus entry sign plus exit sign minus right here 5 i 5 i don't get confused uh, so in the previous sessions we have assumed the loop currents as say x y z so same way here the loop current is what i that's it right here 5 i plus here 12 i then here plus 1.2 which is equal to 0 how much it is uh, 17i total 5 plus 12 i will what 17y so minus 5 this side plus 5 plus 1.2 this side minus 1.2 so this will be what uh, 3.8 17i will be what 3.8 i will be what 3.8 by 17 so this will be what 0.224 amperes so this is what the required answer for the given numerical using source transformation remember the main thing in the source transformation is whichever the uh, factor they have asked in the circuit you should not touch that part till the end see this part see this part of the circuit not touched at the end of the numerical see you can observe So remaining of that part means excluding that a part of the circuit you should alter using what source transformation this is very very important part of the numericals in the source transformation okay so this is what the i value which is current flowing through 5 ohm the answer is what 0.224 amperes right or else 224 milliamps so that's also a correct answer let's move on to the next numerical see uh, problem statement is what find il find il using what source transformation right where is il here here the il is what current flowing through 5 ohm resistor now i have uh, explained in the previous numerical so any parameters or factor they have asked in the numerical so using source transformation using source transformation you should not touch that part of the circuit means till the end of the circuit you should not touch this part this should be kept constant right so further uh, we will try to solve step by step now right now you can see here uh, this uh, voltage source is in series with the what 5 ohm so this can be a uh, converted a uh, current source with a parallel resistance see the plus sign is up here so this will become what in this way current source right we are converting voltage source series series resistance with what current source with a parallel so this 5 ohm will become in parallel with a current source remaining will be as it is this 5 ohm as it is this 5 ohm as it is this current source as it is then this part of the circuit and this will be as it is now see uh, we have altered uh, remaining part this il remains same this is 5 ohm this is 2 this is 5 this is 5 but when it is in parallel again it is a 5 but what is this i i will be what v by r what is v value 10 what is r value 5 so 10 by 5 it will become what 2 amperes current source will become what 2 ampere remember here these two resistors are in connected in what parallel what is its equivalent hmm? product divided by sum this will be what 2.5 right rewrite the circuit again this is what a current source of value how much 2 amps so this will be what a 2.5 this 5 ohm as it is 5 ohm as it is then current source of 2 amps as it is then here 5 ohm then here 5 ohm this will be IL this is 5 ohm
so this is what the reduced part of the circuit next what all we can do further modification now see here this 2 ampere current source is in uh, parallel with what this resistance 2.5 so this can be converted into what a voltage source with a series resistance right so i'll redraw the circuit again see the arrow direction it is upward so plus sign first minus sign here all right this 2.5 resistance will become in series 2.5 resistor here then that 5 ohm as it is then uh, current source then here 5 ohm so this is the reduced part of the circuit this is 2 ampere 5 this is il this is 5 this is uh, 5 so this is what v is equal to what i into r right what is i value 2 what is r value 2.5 so i r will be what 5 so therefore voltage source value will be what 5 volts now see here these two are connected in what series right what is its equivalent just addition right so i'll redraw the circuit again 5 volts the series there is a current source of 2 amperes then here 5 here 5 this is IL complete the circuit diagram so this is 5 this is 7.5 ohm why because when two resistors are in series so the addition of those will be what equivalent now what next see here this uh, voltage source is in series with the 7.5 this can be converted into what uh, current source in parallel resistance so you can uh, rewrite the circuit a uh, current source upward direction why because plus is upward direction so the 7.5 will become in parallel so that is 7.5 next further this 2 amperes will be as it is and this is 5 ohm as it is and this is what 5 ohm as it is 5 this is il this is 5 this is 2 right this is what i which is equal to what v by r what is v value here 5 what is r value 7.5 so if i do that so this will be results in what 0.666 amperes right so what next so this 0.666 amperes and 2 amperes are connected in parallel so what is the result of it so if you add them hmm, so I'll redraw that circuit so both uh, directions will be in upward so this will be in upward direction this is 2.666 amperes that 7.5 ohm resistor will be parallel here 5 ohm then here 5 ohm right so this is il 2.6 so our task is to find what il so we know that uh, branch current concepts if you if you know the main current so here the main current is what 2.6 coming here then it will it will splits out in this way as well as in this way i want this current so therefore il is equal to main current main current will be what 2.66 into other branch resistance means i am finding the current in this path other branch uh, resistance is how much 7.5 ohm divided by sum of the resistors 7.5 ohm plus in this branch how much the resistance value 10 uh, these two are connected in series right yes or no so this will be 10 so therefore il will become what 2.66 into 7.5 volt by 17.5 therefore il will uh, results in how much it's a 1.14 amperes this is what the required answer for the given what numerical using source transformation right so this is what the solution 
So remember here, so the source transformation numericals, it's so very important to note that whichever the parameter they ask, right, that part we should not touch till the end. See here, this part in the given numerical is not touched, so till the end. This is very very important. At the end you can use any method, here I have used what uh, branch current concept or else you can use a loop current here by taking here x and y so y itself is what il using mesh analysis you can easily find il also right so this is how the solution okay rest all the things will continue in the next class thank you